As shown in this computer-aided simulation, the trophy pieces are positioned and fully connected to the piles with high-strength concrete. The pedestals are cast to the required elevations on top of the pier caps to provide a seat for the precast beams that support the cast-in-place deck. A barge delivers precast beams from the Bayou Chico casting yard. Construction cranes hoist each precast beam onto its respective pedestal on the trophy piece, while each precast beam for the vehicular portion of the bridge is delivered individually. The two beams and deck for the pedestrian portion of the bridge are delivered as a single precast unit. Metal pans, called stay-in-place forms, are placed between adjacent precast beams to support wet concrete as its pour. Wooden removable forms are constructed along the outside edges of the outermost beams of the vehicular bridge to support wet concrete beyond the beam edge. Construction workers then assemble the steel reinforcing mats that add strength to the concrete bridge deck. Concrete is delivered to the site by truck and pumped within the formed area. A screed machine then passes over the wet concrete to provide a smooth driving surface. Once the concrete deck is cured, traffic railings are formed along the exterior edges of the bridge deck. Pedestrian and bicycle railings are also attached to the precast deck of the pedestrian bridge. The new bridge spans are then striped to accommodate traffic. Flexible plastic delineators will be placed to channelize traffic. To keep citizens informed on bridge repair progress, the department has established this website that is regularly updated with the latest repair news and information.